Hello, today is Monday, July 2nd. Welcome to this week's edition of Updates. We're gonna cover a variety of events, starting with on-campus to state level and then some community events. So let's jump straight in. Classified staff have been having a food drive and this food drive will continue on through July the 19th. So please bring in your donations. There are boxes in Davis Hall, the ATC and Building 2000. STEAM camp has been going on the past two weeks. You may not have seen the students down there, but there have been some great activities. Joyce Serbaugh and Jason Spencer are working together on these camps and are doing a great job. They're taking this week off, but there's another STEAM camp coming up next week. There's a total of four camps this year and they've been sold out for a long while. So great job with STEAM camp. We got some good news from PBL. We had eight students in top 10 finishes, which is amazing news. That is the most in the state of West Virginia of any college or university. So West Liberty, WVU, UC, Bridge Valley did better than all of those. So many congratulations to the faculty and the students. We had two first place finishes and two third place finishes. An exciting activity that happened at the ATC last week, there was some VR, so virtual reality training. So there are some innovative and exciting projects going on. Moving to the state level, I do want to mention PEIA and the index codes. You may have seen it in the news about Governor Justice indicating he wanted to increase the index codes by $2,700. And the PEI Finance Board did meet and vote to approve this. What this all means with the increase, the across the board 2160. If you were right on the bubble with your insurance, if you remember looking at your shopper's guide, the amount you pay in premium depends on your salary. So if you're making $38,000 a year and you get a 2160 increase, that would bump you into the next tier, which means your premiums would go up. Depending on your plan, it could be about 25 bucks a month, which would eat away at some of that across the board increase. And that is the goal behind making these changes. PEI has announced that these index code changes will take effect August 1st. If you need any more clarification, please reach out to me or Rita and we're happy to explain it. Long story short, they're inching up each one of the index codes so the across the board, P the across the board increase shouldn't negatively impact your PEI premiums. Finally, I'd like to wrap up with some community events. This week is Independence Day, and on the 4th of July, Montgomery is having some fun activities. From 7 to 10 p.m., come down, get free ice cream, free popcorn. There's gonna be some bands playing, and you can see fireworks at 10 o'clock, which is always the best part. I also want to mention the Ripley Arts and Crafts Festival that starts on July 4th and runs through Saturday. It's one of the biggest arts and crafts fairs in the state, and you can come up and listen to some good music and see some quilting and some various crafts and arts. So it'll be a good time. Thank you again for tuning in. I hope you have a happy Independence Day, and I'll see you next week.